And Greg, we are ready to go whenever you want. I should. I have the one from the class with in Seattle. Is that the most updated version? That one was a few months ago. Yeah, that's good. Just sent it to your email. Okay. I'm going to pause the recording just till we get this up. Okay. Oh, wow. Should we get one more? Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty good. They didn't just come in automatically. So. Okay. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we're going to start covering uh, the sleep class, or portions, I should say, of the sleep class. One of the things that we can do with this is we can go into greater depth into some of the aspects than we can in uh, normal class. And so we will be visiting the lymphatic system at some point. We will be addressing uh, memory and memory mechanisms at some point. But right now, for the next few weeks, we're going to be addressing sleep. It actually might even be longer than the next few weeks. So with this, one of the things that I'd like to do is just talk about general, general sleep, and then we'll start to go in depth to some of the different uh, issues. You know, one of the things that I found very interesting when I was doing these classes um, a while back we were pulling together all the work for the pain class and I really thought the pain class was going to be one of the most popular classes <clears throat> excuse me and uh, as we went through and we started doing the classes the one of the most popular classes has been actually the sleep memory class and it just really goes to show that uh, how many people really suffer from either sleep issues or memory issues or really those are two sides of the same coin. So one of the things that uh, we talked about in the early stages of the pain class is that really when somebody has pain, be it physical or psychological pain, um, within a short amount of time, there starts to be a sleep disturbance or a sleep disorder. And so a person starts to have more and more difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, getting good sleep, getting deep sleep. And then that starts to cause the body to have um, other issues other than just the, the pain mechanisms. But stress, wear and tear, emotions, all kinds of things can cause us to have sleep disturbances. And sometimes we just never even started off as good sleepers. And so a lot of times if we can become better sleepers, a lot of our health issues actually reduce and we also process things emotionally and mentally in our sleep. You know, this would be reflected in our dream time. And so with that, by going through and deepening our ability to sleep, improving our sleep, making our sleep more efficient, not just has uh, an effect on our overall energy levels, it has an effect on pain management, and it is a form of psychological healing. 
So I shared this some um, in some of the classes that, you know, when we were treating PTSD patients, we came up with these really elaborate approaches. And then at one point we backtracked and just started working on sleep disturbances and we're producing better results with uh, getting them to get good, restful, deep sleep. And so when you get really good, deep sleep, your immune system reboots, your nervous system reboots, um, your uh, endocrine system reboots. Um, you also have an impact on the smooth muscle, skeletal muscle, and cardiac muscle in your body. So it's tied to your cardiovascular health um, and your digestive health. And so with this, sleep is critical for, for just about all areas of our life. It really has a, a big impact on our sense of well-being. It has a big impact on our quality of life and um, our inner state. And if you get good at, at sleeping, you usually also become better and better at meditating. So a lot of times I found that when I was having difficulty with meditation, I was also having difficulty with sleep. So they are some similar mechanisms in play. So when we go through and do this, we're going to talk about some of these different aspects. A lot of times we're going to have an experience, and then we're going to talk about what happened. So with that, right now we're going to just uh, approach this from general, let's fall asleep, let's get some good sleep. We're not going to break it down into the mechanics just yet. We're just looking at how do we make the body fall asleep. Now, there's the ability to fall asleep, there is the ability to stay asleep, and then there's also the depth of sleep. Like how deep are you sleeping and for how long, right? And so with that, we want to hit all of these points because certain things happen in these different states. So right off the bat, we're going to do a very general way of, of getting the body to a place of, of sleeping without really having to address specific issues. So this is just for the random time of you not being able to sleep or, or if you're in some pain, if you're traveling, if, if you're trying to help a friend or a family member, it's just one of those ways that you can help a person sleep. So some of the oils that we're gonna talk about, you can just have them inhale, but we're actually gonna do a little guided uh, meditation or healing while inhaling the oils, right? So with that, choose one of these oils. And if you don't have one of these, then we'll find something that works for you. But he here I go. Um, if you have Angelica, Artemisia, or Mugwort, any form of hyssop, Lavender, lemongrass, marjoram, melissa, rue, spikenard, tuberose, or vetiver. If you do not have it in the chat room, go ahead and type in. Um, please do it to all panelists um, because we can't separate. Um, I, I can only respond through the all panelist. So does anybody not have one of those? Um, we seem okay. Okay, we seem okay. All right, so now, first off, notice how you feel, notice your body, move your back around, notice your emotions, and notice your thought process. Think of something good, 
in your life right now and then think of something not so good, something negative, something that's a little stressful. Evaluate each one. We're not treating the specific issues. We're using these situations as a way to measure. Are all of these A choices? All of these are A choices, yes. Also, you could use the sleep support was made specifically for this, this protocol of this step. Okay, so now you're going to hold the bottle up to your nose, right? And you're just going to take long, slow, deep breaths. The first time around, we're not going to direct it anywhere. We're just going to take long, slow, deep breaths. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. I'll, I'll type it back in, guys. It'll be in the chat. I don't know why oh, Greg's getting news. That's okay. I'm typing it in. If you don't see what I'm putting in, um, just let me know. Okay, just be still. Give yourself a break for a second. Keep your eyes closed. That's what it is. Okay. That's, sorry, guys. I was typing in to all panelists. You need to do it to all panelists and attendees. Thank you, thank you. I don't know the difference, but give me one second. Oh, I'm a panelist there at 10 days. Thank you guys. Trying to get this down for. Okay, again, long, slow, deep breaths. Now just be still, be aware. Check in with your body. Check in with your emotions and your mind. Check in with the positive situation and the negative situation.
one of the things that you just want to get. I'm looking at this here for this. They can use clearing speech. Okay, so now we're going to guide it through the body now. So you're going to begin to inhale. Your awareness is on your feet, your whole foot, the bottom, the sides, the top of your foot, both sides, both feet, long, slow, deep breaths. A few more long, slow, deep breaths. Now just be still for a second. Don't go any farther. Let's just stop right there. Just keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed, just let it incubate. Again, begin to inhale. Let's keep your awareness on your feet. The top, the sides, the bottom. Really pay attention to the arch of your foot. Really pay attention to the heel of your foot. Up the back of the heel, even where it's the Achilles tendon, just that whole foot area. Anywhere where you feel tension, inhale the oil, into where you feel the tension in your feet. Okay, just be still, be aware, just let it incubate for a moment. Now we've only done the foot, right? Move your body around and see how your body feels. I'm still really tight. Still Feel a change in your legs? Like in the feet area. That's just in the feet. Like, yeah. How many people feel something just in the feet area? How many people feel something uh, in other parts of their body? You can type it in, guys. Somebody said they're ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times if you take tension out of the feet, your whole body will start to relax. There's a couple of key areas. Somebody your, else said everywhere. Yeah, your feet, your hands, and your head. 
if you relax those three spots, uh, a lot of times it could be bed, bed by. Somebody said, feel nothing. I'm good. <laughs> Jaws feel looser, head feels buzzy, crown or head, yawned. I have a headache. I feel there's something in the whole body and my feet feel connected, still unwinding from the day, hands, ankles, wrists. Feel it in my stomach. I feel sleepy too and sedated. So, so I mean, we're going to do the whole body, but look at what if you really do this part with intention. Th this this first segment that we're doing, where we go through the whole body, it is really more the physical aspect than fleshing out like emotions and and mental, you know, chatter to make us sleep, which will be the next segment. So this first one is really just calming down and quieting the body. But at the feet, you have a couple of things. So for one, there could be a lot of tension in your feet and it will impact your whole body. It impacts your circulation, it impacts lymphatic movement, it impacts uh, the tissue that goes up the back of the leg and then eventually impacts the low back. Um, it can impact tension in the spine. I mean, there's so many things that can happen. Then you have the, the pressure points associated with reflexology. So, you know, you have points in the bottom of your feet, in the tops of your feet, that impact uh, your overall body. Then from the Chinese medicine point of view, a lot of the meridians, a lot of the meridians are coming all the way down into the legs and the feet. So you're hitting a lot of the energy pathways as they pass through the body. If you look at it from purely an energetic point of view, your feet is the dirtiest part of the aura. So if you're having a bad day, um, you might feel it in your body, you might feel it in your back, but the place that feels it the most is your feet. If somebody is projecting a bunch of negativity towards you, if somebody's being hostile towards you, it's not just hitting you in your solar plexus. It's not just hitting you in your mind where you're grinding on the things that they're saying. There's an energy transference going between you and the person. One of the entry points is actually through the bottom of your feet. So by going through and treating the feet and the low legs right off the bat, you're already starting to unwind the body. Now, if you take this a little bit further and think about when you get stressed out, what happens is you start to breathe short and rapid, right? Short and rapid, which for one, this increases body tension. It makes you, uh, it makes your emotions magnified, you know, especially negative emotions and magnifies negative emotions. But what starts happening is your consciousness becomes more and more aware of up high and you don't really become aware of like your abdomen or your lower legs or anything like that. Your consciousness is just up in this area, right? So when you start to do long, slow, deep breaths, you start to become more and more aware of your body. So in certain practices where they do meditation, they'll do, they'll do these kinds of breaths that slow down and calm down your breath. And then you practice awareness on your whole body. Because part of what happens when we get super stressed out is we become less aware of a major portion of our body, especially below the belt line. Like you, you just don't become that aware of your legs. You're not aware of, of your feet. You're not aware of what's underneath you, right? And so by going through and doing really thorough work on the feet, lower leg and thigh, by the time it starts to come into the hips and the low back, you're riding the momentum of that you really have gotten the body un unwinding, you're cleaning up the body energetically, you're opening up the meridians, and you're taking a bunch of physical tension out of the body. So I wanted to do just the feet so you can see how impactful just doing the feet is when we go through and we do this practice. So again, let's have you do your feet. Breathe into the tension wherever it's at, the tops, the sides, the, the back. Be sure to get the arch of the foot, the heel. Wherever you notice, 
Long, slow, deep breaths. Your awareness is on your feet. Now move your awareness to your lower leg from the knee to the ankle. Be sure to put your awareness on like the shins or if your calves are real, real tight, just wherever you feel tension, keep your awareness there. Now move your awareness to the, the upper thigh, from the knee to the hip. Okay, just be still for a second. Stop inhaling, just be still. Now you'll notice a lot of times the tension is on the back part of your thigh, your hamstrings. So I'm gonna have you do inhalation again on your upper thigh. Really focus on the spots where there's tension. So it's usually a little bit above the knee um, it could be a little bit more in the groin area, but it's usually on the back part of your leg. If it's somewhere else, then you focus somewhere else, but go to the spots where you really feel tension. Take long, slow, deep breaths. Now move your awareness up to the hips. The front, the sides, the back, your butt cheek on the back, the groin area, the whole pelvic floor, just your whole hips, your whole pelvis, front sides and back. Long, slow, deep breaths.
move your awareness to the lower abdomen and your low back. Like below your belly button and your lumbar, your low back. Keep inhaling, keep going to the area in your body where there's tension. Okay, so let's just stop right there for a second. So anywhere in your feet, lower legs, thighs, hips, or low back that still has tension, take some long, slow, deep breaths and put attention to that spot that is specific to you. Just take some long, slow, deep breaths and focus on your area. Okay, just be still, be aware. Notice how you feel. Notice your emotions. Notice your mind. Think of a good thing. Think of a, uh, the bad thing. What do you notice? So now we're going to address the whole abdominal cavity, which is all your internal organs. Now, one of the things that happens when you're trying to fall asleep is it's dependent on, on the tension in your muscle. So when, when you hear a phrase like that, we think of the skeletal muscle or the muscles that you know, move our body around. But a lot of the thing that can cause anxiety is actually tension in your digestive tract, which is smooth muscle. Tension in smooth muscle can be very agitating when it comes time to lay down and go to bed at night. So we're going to put our awareness on the entire abdominal cavity. Like if you were to draw a tic-tac-toe, you want to be sure that you hit all nine quadrants. Okay, so take long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on the whole abdominal cavity. 
is it okay to switch between the oils? This person feels they're losing the scent. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Keep inhaling with your awareness on the whole abdominal cavity. And as you do that, keep your awareness on your mid back. Okay, just be still for a second. Just let everything go. Keep your eyes closed. Just be still. Let's go back to that same protocol, that same step. Your entire abdominal cavity, long, slow, deep breaths. Keep your awareness on your whole abdominal cavity and your mid back. Move your awareness to the chest and your upper back, the area between your shoulder blades, your shoulder blades, and the sides of your chest. Put your awareness on your neck, the front, the side, the back, and the top part of your shoulders. Just 
just like where your neck and shoulder kind of meets. Long, slow, deep breath in this area. To your shoulders and your upper arms, from your shoulders all the way down to your elbows, front, sides, and back of your arms, your armpit area, the whole shoulder girdle. Your elbows, your forearms, all the way down to your wrist and your hands. All the way to your fingertips, from your elbows to your fingertips. Go to your neck, the front, the sides, the back, your whole neck. Just really focus on the neck. Go to your jaws and the whole head, the entire head. Thank you. 
Okay, just be still. Just let it incubate. Just be still. If there's still some point of tension, irritation, pain, tightness, or it's just that area is predisposed to being compromised, take some long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on that part of your body. Just be still. Check in with your body. Check in with your emotions, your mind. Yeah, check in with the positive thing that you were measuring and check in with the negative. Type into the chat room, how do you feel? What was your experience? Somebody said that they had no change on either. They can't plug into them. Both situations um, seem very remote. Another person said charge. Positive and negative feel the same as each other. They've come together in the middle. Good. They were the same thing. It's balanced out and that I feel it will be fine. Everything is totally relaxed really unwound the tension all is good neutralized i feel the same about both situations calm yep totally relaxed i'm feeling more relaxed however i still have a headache across my forehead um the positive and negative events are about even um someone else i feel organized good and so the part of the thing about doing the physical body first is some of our responses to the situation, some of our, our even our emotional responses are actually tied to our biology. And so by going through and calming down the body, sometimes it changes how we feel about a situation, right? The feelings then translate into the thoughts. Now, if it started off with how we were thinking, it produces an emotion and it will have an impact on our physical body. So where it started is irrelevant, but if we unwind the body, a lot of times we start to have a shift in our, our feelings and our thoughts. Now this next segment we're gonna do, this is still under uh, general or simplified healing for uh, sleep issues. You just unwound the body. Now if there's emotions or thoughts, or negativity from other people, this is gonna help flush these things out. So you can use the same exact oil that you were using, but we're gonna do a different pattern. So no need to run around and find something different, just use the same oil, 
but <coughs> now begin to inhale. Your awareness is on the top of your head. Okay, move your awareness to the forehead, where the hairline is. Move your awareness to the area between your eyebrows. Just be still, be aware, just let go for a moment. Move your awareness to the back head, so opposite your eyebrows, but on the back side. The back head. Move your awareness to the temples. Move your awareness to the throat, the upper part of your front part of your neck, the throat.
up down to the area between the two collarbones, the bottom of your throat, the throat minor. Go to your front and back heart. Just be still, be aware, keep your eyes closed. Put your awareness on the front solar plexus. Just below the ribs on the front side. Move your awareness to the back solar plexus or the mid-back area. Just be still, be aware, just be still. To the back solar plexus again, right where you left off, the mid-back. Long, slow, deep breaths. 
this area is where a lot of body tension can be held up, a lot of emotional tension. Go to your navel. Go to your spleen on the left-hand side, just below the ribs, front and back. Left side of your ribs. Just be still, be aware, just let go for a moment. Just keep your eyes closed, just let go. Now, go to your low back, opposite your navel. This area is referred to as the main men. Long, slow, deep breaths. Go to the groin area or the sex chakra.
go to the basic or the tailbone area. the soles of your feet Now be still, be aware, keep your eyes closed. Just be still. Notice your body. Notice your emotions, your thoughts. Now, think of the situations that are going on around you. Think of the things that are happening during the day. Think of the things that bring you stress or some sort of conflict. Go to the one that bothers you the most right now. Keep your attention on that situation and inhale the oil. Continue to inhale. Just be still, be aware. Just let everything go for a moment. Go back to that same situation, that same issue, that same person. Long, slow, deep breaths with your attention and awareness on that situation. Continue to inhale, but move to another situation. Move to something else that is a little bit stressful, a little bit bothersome, or there's a little bit of conflict. Long, slow, deep breaths.
Just be still, be aware, just let it go. Go back to the situation again. Long, slow, deep breaths. move to another situation something where there's a little bit of tension irritation conflict Now you just start thinking of all the different aspects of your external world, your interactions over the last week or so, just start visiting things and just let your mind float from thing to thing, not focusing on anything in particular, just whatever seems to be coming up. Okay, just be still, be aware, just let everything go for a second. This next step doesn't involve oils. Your head's going to stay within the normal position. And you're generally going to roll your eyes up like you're trying to look at your forehead or even a little bit higher like you're trying to look at the top of your head. Roll your eyes up. Keep looking upwards, keep looking up. Just be still, let everything go. Let the eye movement go, let everything go. Keep your eyes closed, just let go.
Keep your eyes closed. Just be still. Again, roll your eyes up like you're looking at your forehead or even higher at your crown. Just let it go. Keep your eyes closed, just let go. Let go of everything. Okay, how do you feel? How does your body feel? How does your emotions, your mind? How do the external situations feel? Go ahead and type it into the chat room. Let's get some feedback. Neutral. I feel completely relaxed and spacey. Feel like many things are being released from my unconscious. Yeah. Muscle tension released, less focus on intense thought patterns, much softer and open, extremely relaxed, sleepy problems are irrelevant. Uh, oh, sleepy problems are irrelevant. Feel very relaxed. External situations are moot. The headache across my forehead as he has eased somewhat. Um... I didn't realize how tense my eyes were. Mm. Feeling very relaxed. One of my situations was worry about being financially stable, but after a round of breathing, it turned into I am financially stable, like I already cleared the issue. Purged, non-reactive to external situation, relaxed, left my body for a moment. Um, there were a couple of logistical questions one person asked. Are their eyes open whenever they're doing? Um, okay, so your eyes can be open or like partially closed, but like what starts to happen is you, when you roll your eyes up, your eyes do, even if you try to close them, like when you really start to roll them up, they'll start to flutter or they'll open up a little bit. So you can try closing them as best you can, but um, open or closed doesn't really matter too much. You're, you're moving the energy from your lower centers up. A lot of times when you're having difficulty going to sleep, the energy is stuck in your lower centers. Um, like insomnia, a lot of times is the basic chakra is really overactivated. It can be overactivated for a lot of reasons. Sometimes it's, um, you know, adrenaline. Sometimes it's, you know, emotional, mental reasons. Sometimes it's actually allergies. Allergies can act overactivate the basic chakra and cause insomnia. And so this is a very, very general approach. 
Next week, we're going to get into um, really specifics. But the thing that I like about this is you can address the, the physical body, and then you can address the psychological body. So if it's a physical body affecting the emotions and the mind, you kind of address it a little bit. And if it's vice versa, where the mind is affecting the emotions and the body, then you kind of address that. And so you can bounce around to different external situations to also release the tension between you and the situation. You know, because you have a cord between you and the situation or you and the person, and there is a point of fixation in your body and in your mind with that situation. And so by going through and visiting the each piece, you're, you're kind of unwinding that tension in your mental, emotional, physical body. And so what happens sometimes, though, is if there's like a little bit of an unresolved issue, it will start to come out. But the goal is for it to come out as you're laying down and going to sleep, you're going to process it and hopefully let go of it while you're sleeping. So if it starts to happen and you can still go to sleep, then go to sleep. If not, go back through and relax the body again. You can see that it's, it's very different than just inhaling the oil or putting a few drops on your wrist or, or rubbing some on your chest or something. You can see that going through and doing the physical body and then going through and flushing things out mentally and emotionally, it is night and day difference and you're using the same, same plant, the same oil. Is there going to be a PDF for this or? Yeah, it's part of the, um, the uh, sleep and memory class. The only thing that I added was um, uh, putting your attention and awareness on the external situations and then rolling your eyes up. Um, and we'll, we'll just type that in so that you get it. But we'll, we'll drag and drop the part out of the sleep class. And it will have all the oil choices. The oil choices for fleshing out the psychological issues, um, you know, there were some different choices, but we already had something in motion, so we just kind of went with, with them. Um, there will be eight choices that you can use for psychological healing for the second half, but you can also just do it the way we did it. And this was a share. Usually during classes, I don't feel too much, but what I did notice after a few days later, I feel a shift taking place, especially when I have to face situations that I'm trying to release. So that was good. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, sometimes I don't, uh, like I'll feel something kind of happening. And then a few days later, there was one, it was like a week or 10 days later. And it was the situation that I had focused on. I was in the middle of it and I was like, this doesn't feel any different. And then all of a sudden I could feel myself shift in that moment. I was like, wow, I guess now I'm different. <laughs> like it, it, it's like it almost had to come to the surface to like kind of shift and flush out. So this will continue to work for several days and sometimes even a few weeks. Do, are they specific patterns? Do they have, are they in names? Uh, the pattern is the, the one we did for the second one is the Kundalini pattern. And the first one is, um, I think we just call it like the full body pattern. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. So, but we, we will also send out the PDF uh, for you tomorrow. So you, you, can, you can do it again. So. And I appreciate it, guys. You know, this is a little different than what we've had. Um, before but I think because we are kind of used to typing things in chat it went really smooth and I think the biggest difference was you know we couldn't see your faces but a lot of people we can't see their faces anyway so and I, I hope um, you know this was uh, just like a practice run for the, the, the way we're using the zoom for this weekend I hope you can make it this weekend it is a free class it is a full-blown class. It's not just little excerpts. It is beginning to end. It's a class, and it's a class never that has never been presented before. So um, sign up on the website if you haven't, so we can send out the link. But um, we're setting up like this because we'll, we're going to have more than 100 people on Zoom. And Zoom, the normal way we do Zoom, it only goes up to 100. And then after that, we have to shift to this other way of of streaming. 
So. And then I'm going to be putting in the link for people to register. And I just want to make sure everyone knows that if they have any friends or family who have shown interest, this is a class that anyone can take for free. This isn't just reserved for great students. So yeah. this is really kind of a great, great opportunity. And um, on the weekly newsletter we sent out, there was the recommended oils for this inner transformation class. And if you were interested or are interested, um, the kit is $150. And we, we got most all of those sent out for all of you guys um, who have already ordered it. I think we got most everybody's out today. So everyone should pretty much be getting them by Friday. So love to see you all there. Hope to see you this weekend. And um, uh, I hope you enjoyed that practice session. Next week, we're gonna go into greater depth of relaxing the muscle